Major health headline here tonight, and it involves a very popular diet, the Mediterranean diet, full of olive oil nut study. Researchers were so astounded by what they found, they halted the study, made it public, and then jumped on the diet themselves. It looked at people at very high risk for heart disease, and it showed that it reduced that risk by nearly a third. And ABC's chief medical editor, Dr. Richard Besser, tonight. And Rich, you've done many studies yourself. How common is it that you would stop before it's even done? I mean, this is really unusual, but so are the results. They found a reduction of 30%. If you think about statins, which so many people take for heart disease, that only reduces your risk of heart disease by 25%. So, so a Mediterranean diet is rich in fresh fruits and vegetables, whole grains, healthy proteins like fish and chicken and beans. And then you want oils that are healthy type of oils. You talk about how compared oils. the Mediterranean diet to a low-fat diet among nearly 7,500 patients at high risk for heart disease. After five years, those on the Mediterranean diet had 30% fewer heart attacks, strokes, or deaths from heart disease. Dr. Tara Nerula is a preventative cardiologist at Lenox Hill Hospital. The study's significant because diet is really one of the most underestimated and easy ways to change your cardiovascular risk profile. Switching the type of fat you eat, you can have lower cholesterol levels, improve the way that your body handles those cholesterol levels, improve the way that you handle blood sugar, improve the health of the way the blood vessels function, and potentially prevent clotting within those blood vessels. 30% reduction in, uh, in heart attacks and heart problems that's a, a significant number when you consider the fact that heart disease is really the, the, the number one killer in the nation, isn't it? You're absolutely right, John. And this is the first kind of large study that actually proved it clinically. Because you've in heard a lot about it, the Mediterranean diet. Dr. Samadhi, what is it? How do we do it? And what should we eat? Eric, this is actually one of the most important segments that we're doing right now. New England Journal of Medicine, study coming from Spain, looking at 7,500 patients follow by five years and this is the first time it's a real landmark study our study tonight in the new england journal shows that the mediterranean diet meaning fruits vegetables lean protein healthy fat from olive oil and nuts can really help prevent heart disease and strokes over this five-year study people on the diet were 30 percent less likely to develop cardiovascular disease than those on a general low-fat diet Researchers say the key here, replacing bad quality calories good with reason. good. According to a study released Monday by the New England Journal of Medicine, patients who adopted the Mediterranean diet were 30% less likely to have heart attacks, strokes, and death. This is a groundbreaking study because it shows that the Mediterranean diet, plant-based proteins, lots of fruits and vegetables, can really help your heart. The most telling part of this study is that the researchers stopped it early because their findings were so solid and so compelling that it seemed unethical to keep participants from eating the healthy stuff on the Mediterranean diet. Well, you know, we've, we've known for some time that, that a Mediterranean diet can, can have a lot of advantages. By the way, here, here's what we're talking about a little bit in terms of the types of food. We've known for some time that it can help decrease the, the likelihood of, of heart disease, strokes, things like that. What was interesting about this study, Michaela, they looked at 4,600 women. They were uh, between the you... ages of 40 and 72. Mm -hmm. They, they were on this diet, they, they, they looked at specifically what they were eating, and then they took a blood test where they measured something specifically known as telomeres. This is a word a lot of people have been hearing about lately, but telomeres are basically sort of, I brought a sort of prop here, Jolly Rancher candy, not, <laughs> nice. not, not part of the Mediterranean diet, but you see, you, there's the animation there. But let me show you, when, when you, when you look at a, a piece of candy like this, if the candy is the chromosome, the telomeres are the ends of that chromosome. Okay. As you age, those telomeres get shorter. And some people say it's a much better sort of reflection of your true age than chronological years. Mm -hmm. What they found was the people who were on the Mediterranean diet more likely to have longer telomeres. And that's where this longevity question gets into. We know it's good for your heart, you're, you're uh, preventing stroke, things like that, but you could actually live longer because of your genetics is what this study is Do trying to show Do well. Mediterranean people live longer? Like, does it bear out uh, it, it, empirically? It does seem to bear out. So people who live in that part of the world and eat these types of food regularly, they seem to live longer. And then around taking a bite out of aging, a new study finds more evidence that the Mediterranean diet of vegetables, fruits, nuts, and fish.
can help you live longer. Our Dr. Tara Narula is a cardiologist at New York's Lenox Hill Hospital. Tara, good morning. Good morning. So previous studies have shown that the Mediterranean diet is good for you, mm -hmm. it's good for your heart. What does this new study say? So this diet, this study really looks at how diet affects how our cells age and essentially how rapidly we age. We know that on the chromosomes, on the very ends of our DNA, are something called telomeres. It's genetic material that actually protects our DNA. So every time the cells replicate, those telomeres act almost like the plastic tips on the end of shoelaces so that our DNA does not get damaged, destroyed, or scrambled. They but naturally shrink as you get older. That's right. And so every time the cell divides, those telomeres shrink. And so we know that people with longer telomeres seem to have longer lives. So longer telomeres are associated with longevity and better overall cellular health, less chronic disease. And the Mediterranean diet keeps the longer telomeres. I think that these... <laughs> These vegetables, these fruits, this diet is full of antioxidants and basically has anti-inflammatory effects, and that's what protects the health of your DNA and your genetic material. I love okay. it. Thank you. I love it. <laughs> Always good to see you. Yeah, thanks. Thank you.